Hi friends, welcome back to All Things Kawaii. Today's video, I have a part two of what I got for my birthday. My birthday was February 7th, so it's been a couple of weeks. But if you haven't seen my first part of what I got for my birthday, it's a ton of very kawaii plushies. Make sure to check it out. I will link it down below. It's on my channel. And yeah, so here's part two with the continuation of this um, video. If you're new here and you love cute things, consider subscribing and let's jump into the video. Alright guys, so like I said, today's video is a what I got for my birthday part two. So yes, my birthday was the beginning of February, February 7th, so it's been a few weeks. Um, I filmed my, the first part, I think it was a week ago, a week and a few days ago as I'm filming this, um, and I wanted to film a couple other videos before I release the second part just, I don't know, to kind of break it up. So anyway, um, so that's what we're going to be doing. We are going to be finishing it up for this part two. Um, there's two really big things that I will insert some pictures when I do talk about it um, that I will not be showing in this uh, video just because I want to kind of make them into a separate video on their own because they're so great and I love them so much. Um, but anyway, the first items I'm going to start with are from Daiso. My fiance did take me on a little Daiso birthday spree in the beginning of February and these are the items that I did pick out. I didn't get like a ton of stuff from Daiso because when I went they didn't have really much. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to show you all the items from Daiso. So the first item is this. It has a bunch of washi tape in it. But it is an origami paper case. And it's just a little clear plastic case that has a handle. And it has like these little... Um, out this washi tape it has this like groove here on the sides so it's perfect for your origami paper and it makes it easy to kind of pick which ones that you want I've never seen a case like this before so I was very um, intrigued by it so um, I'm really excited I think I'm gonna use this for my solid colored um, origami paper not my printed origami paper and see how I like it so if you are into origami make sure to add that to your list for some organizational purposes all right, so next items are some journals because they always have the cutest, well, notebooks, cutest notebooks. So I got these four this time around. Um, so these three are all grid notebooks. Um, there's 30 sheets, so they just literally look like this in the inside. Um, so the first one here has this little like uh, polar bear with their little baby polar bear and you can write like the subject or whatever you want right there on the bottom and then on the back side there's a cute little surprise with some seals peeking out of the water and the next one has this cute little duck or goose with their little ducklings coming out of the pond and I really like that bright yellow background I think it really makes everything pop and then on the back we have a cute little duckling chasing a butterfly um, and the next one has this super cute little um, baby deer, or I think they're called, it's called a doe, right? I think, if I remember. <laughs> but I love the mushrooms in the background, and I pretty much got it for the squirrel, though. The squirrel is everything. And then we have the cute little squirrels <laughs> talking <laughs> in the back with the mushroom. So freaking cute. Um, the next one is a little bit different. Um, it's called Mofu Mofu Friends, and this one's a plain notebook. So this is great for like sketching and stuff, which I have a doodle book that I use and I'm already almost done with it and got it from Daiso. No, actually I got it from an Inku Crate box one month. I think it was Inku Crate, but um, I'm gonna use one of these next up. But it has these little gray baby penguins on the front and they're so cute and you can put your title, class name, it's a semi B5 size, 30 sheets. And then we have a little penguin on the back. Start, finish. It's like matte. I don't know if you can tell, but like right here, like in the middle, so you can write on it with ease, I guess. Um, by the way, I really like the paper in these. They're so smooth, like they're very good quality <laughs> paper. Um, so those are the journals that I did get. All right, so next item is this cute little plush sleeping mask. And it's a pink, a pink bunny. I love pink bunnies for some reason but it's by this uh, mochiri friends so they did have the cat and the bear but um there's the bear down there so cute um but i just got the bunny i should have got the other two because they were so cute but it's fine and he's like really soft and like plushy got the cute little like bunny ears and the embroidered cheeks and yeah so i thought that was too adorable to pass up 
Um, next item that I picked out is this set of eight gift bags with a gusset and they're just like little paper bags. But when I saw the cute little squirrels helping the little rabbit make pancakes, like super fluffy pancakes, like look at that stack there. Um, and he's like helping him and this one is like carrying a plate, <laughs> so cute. Um, yeah, and it comes with a little pink bear seal stickers and it says for you. Yeah, so I had to get that. I love their little gift bags, they're so adorable. And then I just got these two sticker sheets this time around. This first one is the Queen's Tea Party and this one is giving me um, Sleeping Beauty vibes. I think it's Sleeping Beauty. So it has a little bit of gold foiling and I think these are kind of like washi stickers, but look at that tear tray with the cupcakes and all those cute little desserts. That is so cute. So we've got that spool of thread and like that thing, I don't know what it's called, that like makes the thread. So that's why it reminds me of Sleeping Beauty. It's so pretty and detailed. I love that. I wish we would get two sheets in that particular style. Um, the next one I really love. This one is a stationary themed washi sticker set. There's like books, bottles of ink. We've got like a wax seal, pencils. I love that typewriter, the calligraphy pen. So I'm wondering if there's like a stationary collection <laughs> because I need it. It's so cute. Um, and then I did get this um, clear stamp set and this is a travel themed stamp set. It says arrive delay and away we go, the little tickets and stuff. I just thought this was cool. I love using stamps. So I always get very excited when I see a new one. Okay, um, continuing on, I did get these really cute fuzzy polar bear socks. Um, they're ankle socks. And yeah, they just have these little white polar bear faces on them. And they're fuzzy. Can never pass up a good pair of socks, especially when they're fuzzy. They're just so cozy. But I love that they did this like mint colored background with this like tan. They did have two other color options, but I just grabbed that one. And um, the next up are some origami papers. Um, but I guess I'll show you the origami booklets that I grabbed. They had quite a few to choose from. And I did get these two. I have one already that I bought a long time ago and I've used it quite a lot, made different little projects and stuff. I'm still very, <laughs> I'm still so bad at origami, but it's so much fun. So when I saw these, I grabbed these two at least. This one is an origami animal uh, booklet. So there's a hedgehog. There's um, a parakeet. So many different projects a dolphin and it has it step by step and they make it very easy and simple to follow the next one is just called cool origami so it just has like different cool origami projects there's a paper cracker um a you could do a shirt <laughs> make a shirt that's cool um a beetle and they all have it like kind of by if it's like easy medium, hard, so you kind of have an idea of what you're getting yourself into, but so, so cute. So I'm excited to try some projects out in those. And I did get some origami paper. Um, the first set is a set of 12 different styles of plaid and checker print, or there's like an argyle print, there's gingham, and it's just like all different colors. So there's 60 sheets and you get five of each design and that's an overview. So cool. Um, I don't use these just for origami paper. If you're new here, I don't use it just for that. I use it for scrapbooking a lot as well. And of course, it's giving extras and like pen pal letters and stationery swaps and stuff like that. But anyway, I took out one of each so you can actually see the prints. So this is this purple plaid print and it's just white on the back because sometimes they do have different colors in the back. There's this like blue and gray argyle print, this like blue plaid that has like yellow here's this red plaid very Christmassy this like red and pink and yellow and green plaid this yellow one's very pretty and then there's this red and blue one this pink one that's very cute there's this green one love that one this pastel one which gives me Easter all over and I really like this one it's like teal color and then there's like this yellow and blue one so very cute um just like a lot of different options that they have um and then the next one is literally the same thing except they're polka dots 
Um, you get 12 designs, five of each, so 60 in total. So that's an overview. And I did take out one of each <laughs> so you could get a better look at the designs. So here's this one. It's very pastel. This pink one and purple and white. And there's this polka dot one. And then this one. This red one with the white polka dots, very nautical. Then we've got some more pastels. And then this one with the chocolate brown background and that teal. I really like this one. It reminds me of a print that you would see like in a shirt or a skirt or something from like the early 2000s for some reason. And here's this one. This one has like little hearts in it too. And then here's this blue one with the green and yellow. This one has green, yellow, and orange. <laughs> and this one has stars and it's like a ombre sort of and then here's this one more pastels so yeah i'm very excited that i did find those hopefully they come out with more sets like that because there's a very wide variety in them so okay so next up are just it's literally just washi tape that i picked out um so i'm just going to quickly show you all the different washies that i did find uh on that trip um i did i don't know why this is so hard for me i'm trying to like organize it um I'm going to swatch all these, of course, so you can see them better. But here's this one. You can get a good view of that one. This set is the Winter Mix is what it's called. So this one has some, like, gold foiling. And this one has, like, really pretty flowers. And there's, like, a little green bird. These are, like, a little bit thicker. This one has paper cranes. And then this one has this beautiful, like, red floral print. Um, and the next set are all die cut. So it doesn't have like a straight edge, which I love. It's called the Winter Die Cut Set. Um, so this one has this beautiful floral print. And then this one has like a traditional Japanese print. And I know a lot of these like have different meanings and stuff. I don't know, but yeah. This one I think has like rice balls in it. And this one has, I think they're called Doraemon. Pretty sure I'm saying it wrong, but they're bears. <laughs> So I knew I had to get that one. And then the next set is just some of their solid colored washi, which I'm obsessed with. So there's this beautiful like minty green. It's called milky green, a red one. That's great. And then this milky blue. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and swatch them and I'll be back. Okay, so I swatched all of the washi tape. So starting up here, these are the solid washi. So there's that really pretty like true red and that like minty green and this beautiful periwinkle. I really love the solid washi. Um, I do have one that's like a tan color and I use it all the time. I have a ton of printed washi and I don't have any solid colored um, washi tapes. Well, I do have some, but they're like the super thin ones and I need like the standard size washi. So I'm very excited to add those to my collection. And I only wonder what other colors they have because I need them. But anyway, um, and then we have the die cut ones. So this is the little bear Doramon ones. And this one that has, I think they're little like rice balls or something like this one with the bowl. And then this one with the beautiful print, all the different like Japanese prints. And then this one with that floral print is gorgeous. And then we have this one with that red flower print. And then we have the paper cranes here on the top. This one's like a rainbow, which I didn't know. It's kind of like watercolor. And then we have the purple and like pink flowers with this cute little green bird. And then this one here that has like the lucky cats and it has gold foiling on it too. But yeah, super cute washi. Okay guys, so I'm gonna insert a picture here of the other Daiso finds. Um, it is an Alice in Wonderland spring picnic themed collection that Daiso released this year. And I pretty much got the entire collection um, except for like maybe two or three items. My fiance is like, you better get one of each. You better get one of each. He's like, cause this is going to sell out quick. And you're going to be like, I should have got it. Cause that always happens. And I never learn. So I'm going to put a picture there. You'll see a basket. I will be doing a separate video. So if you want to see, um, the collection, I thought it was just too cute. I had to put it in its own. So stay tuned for that. Now moving right along. Um, I have some other items. Um, so the first item is from toy dojo i think this was actually the same trip he took me to toy dojo which is like a little anime store in austin um but he got me a little cat bus plush and look how cute cat bus is he's like so small and adorable and of course from my neighbor totoro 
Um, and I think he was like 12 or $13. Um, and then he also got me a blind box, got me this My Hero, um, Heroes Rising the Movie Mochi Mochi Mascot Plush. So those, those are all the different characters um, could get. I was hoping for Todoroki, but I got the adorable Deku. It's a little keychain. They look like little Tsum Tsums, but they're so cute. He has like little beans in him, but yeah. And I think this one was like eight or nine dollars for the blind box, but I was very happy with it. I think it's so cute. I definitely want to, <laughs> I want to collect all of them. Um, and then the next item is from Kino Kunia and these were $10.99 and they are the Cat Fae Surprise Plush Keychain and a little Pusheen on there. So there's the box. I was really hoping for that cat croissant one, but I ended up getting it. I already forgot <laughs> is this one and it's uh, oh my god this one's so cute Pusheen in a little teacup and this one is actually the um the hidden one so I was very pleasantly surprised I got the hidden one too and I also did get this donut one let me look for it okay next <laughs> is the little donut Pusheen there he is because I had taken taken him out of the box and I put him on my purse and I took him off my purse because I wanted to share with you how he looks. He's so cute with those little sprinkles. And I love when keychains have this hook here, the lobster claw. It makes it so easy to like switch them around. So, but anyway, yeah, those are from Kino Kunia. Um, next items I almost forgot to put in this video. I literally, when I got up to look for that Pusheen donut, I saw these stacked there and I was like, oh yes, I was going to put this in the last video, but I didn't want to make it super, super long. So I just didn't. But I'll show you. Now I can show you. Okay. So I did get the Alice with Flowers Fungo Pop. She's in, I think these are petunias. But yeah, I had initially pre-ordered her from GameStop and they had released her like a long time ago and GameStop still hadn't gotten her. So yeah, I ended up getting my money back from there. But I think this is from Hot Topic. I don't know. I think she was like $20? I don't remember. But yeah, she's so cute. So obviously, you know, I love Alice in Wonderland. So I'm so excited to add that to my pop collection. And then, y'all, Five Below. Eric got these from Five Below. They were, I think he said $3 each. They are mini Sanrio fuzzy journals. So here's this first one. It's purple. It's got Hello Kitty. She's wearing like a super cute, colorful outfit. It has like, and it has like Hello Kitty with the crescent moon on the bottom. And it's like this really pretty like sea green color. And it is lined to write all your thoughts. And it comes with 80 sheets. And the next one looks like this. This one's like a pink fuzzy one. And it has Hello Kitty. This one's Hello Kitty and Friends. So we have a little like ice cream and this one's like puffy and like shiny. It has Hello Kitty, Kuropi, and Batsmaru. And it has purple paper in the inside. It has Hello Kitty, like a Hello Kitty Sunday on the bottom, a little like flag and some stars. But so cute. So I wonder if they have more in this little fuzzy journal collection. Let me know in the comments if you've seen any other styles at Five Below. But yeah, guys, like Sanrio, there's Sanrio items at Five Below. Make sure that you check your local store because you can find some really cute, fun finds. Um, next up, this is like random because this was during Valentine's Day. <laughs> he got me these of Valentine's. They're llama themed and we got these at HEB. I think they were like $3 each or something but I'm going to use these for next year. Um, I always make little treat bags for like every holiday and for Valentine's I make I have valentine cards and I put them in there with like a bag of candy and give them to my friends and um, my fiance's family and all that but this one has 24 valentines with envelopes and there is four different designs and there's llamas I mean I don't really have to say much they're llamas like look at that one here with the glasses it's so cute it's by destination holiday I don't know um and this one comes with six, 16 lamazing sticker by number valentine and I just couldn't pass this one up either. There's four designs. A little sticker by numbers. I love that with the little flowers and everything. Like that is so cute. And the cool thing about these, you don't have to use them just as Valentine's card. You could use them in scrapbooking and journaling, planning, whatever. And of course, sending these um, in like friend mail. So 
anyway okay so the last thing from that little section is this Todoroki um like action figure I got at Walmart it's like on sale for like seven dollars but I love Todoroki from my hero so <laughs> he's super cute so I had to get him um well my fiance got him for me <laughs> it's by McFarlane Toys that's that information there but yeah all right, so that was all the stuff that my fiance got for me for my birthday. So big thank you and shout out to him. I always appreciate everything he does get for me. Um, and by the way, I'm not bragging in any way. I normally make a disclaimer at the beginning of my videos, but I'm not. Um, I'm very grateful for everything. Um, so moving on to the stuff that my friends got me. Um, so the first gift is from my friend Catalina. She got me a Sailor Moon themed present. Um, so the first thing I'm so excited. This is one of my favorite things and it is a Luna purse. It's like faux leather. We have the crescent moon here that's like metallic and the little ears, how it looks on the back. It has a strap that has like gold chains and it is adjustable. And I love that it has a little like feet on the bottom so it's gonna protect the purse. Um, it has a little pouch right here. And then in the inside it's just lined and there's like two little compartments and then a little zipper pouch. But yeah, it feels like pretty nice quality and I'm so excited to use this. I have a Luna purse now. I can say I have a Luna purse. And by the way, I think she said she did get everything from Amazon. So I will try to like look um look up the items and link them down below for you, which I always do in my videos. So just make sure to check the description if you're interested in an item. The next thing is this Sailor Moon keychain that has a little chibi Luna. Well, she's like chibi as well, but super cute. So I'm definitely going to be adding that to my keys. And then she got me a traveler's journal, which I, I've never had a traveler's journal. But I'm excited. It is this beautiful blush pink, like faux leather traveler's journal that has a Sailor Moon like embossed here on the cover. And it looks like this. Of course, it has like the little band and I'm going to open it up here. So it comes with two little journals. So there's like a lined one. And then this one that has craft paper, which I think is so fun. Like I'm going to want to do just like vintage journaling in this. This is so fun. And then it even comes with these little like plastic pouches on the back. So this one you could put like little papers. This one you could put cards in, maybe even like little sticker flakes. And then there's this little pouch. Maybe put like some pens or something or like a ruler or whatever. But yeah, I'm so excited to have a traveler's journal. <laughs> so anyway, so that's what she got me for my birthday. So thank you Catalina for the wonderful gifts. Okay, next up is some Stuff that my friend Heather gave to me um, these two items so the first two items well this one is this beautiful ceramic plate that has gold foiling and these gorgeous peacocks with all of these flowers and it's like a fan and it is made in Japan and I think she got this from like a flea market or thrift store I do collect uh, Japanese ceramics and I usually put that out as like regular decor throughout the year um, on my buffet table in my living room and um, I have nothing on it right now because I've been too lazy to bring everything out but I'm excited to showcase this with my collection I think it's so beautiful and like such a unique find um, she also got me these cute little Vera Bradley clips. She put on this little like ribbon, but I love little hair clips. This really cute little print on that. And then a Vera Bradley weekly meal plan magnetic little like book thing. Um, I love the print. I think it's very colorful, but yeah, it has Monday through Sunday so I can write down what we're going to be eating each day. There's a little miscellaneous section on the bottom and then a grocery list with check boxes, which I think is so convenient. I normally write out what my fiance and I are gonna eat on Fridays. And uh, I usually write it in a, I have a, like a meal journal, like a recipe journal pretty much. And I put all that stuff in there, but this is gonna be nice to also add on my, like put it on my fridge so I can have an overview for the week. So that's gonna be very nifty. Um, and then next up, she got me this Snoopy Vera Bradley and Peanuts collab Christmas journal, which is so cute. You got Snoopy like sledding. And it's just a little lined notebook that comes with 160 college ruled pages and an interior pocket. So I love that. You guys know I love notebooks. So, And then she also got me this modeling clay by Creative Expert. 48 different pieces. So many different colors. So this one is a non-hardening, reusable, easy to form shapes um, modeling clay. 
So that's how it looks. She got that from Ross. But um, I've been diving into polymer clay. And um, if you follow me on Instagram, it's linked down below if you want to follow me. Um, I put in one of my highlights some, some earrings that I made. And I made like um, a daisy print on them. So that's kind of like what I want to use this for is to just practice. I know this isn't polymer clay. But just to practice like molding and stuff like that. Not exactly marbling because I kind of want these to like last to practice with. Um, but just to kind of get like an idea ideas flowing if that makes sense so i think that's going to be a really fun thing to play around with so it's going to be very useful um and then the last thing she got me is a vera bradley pen it's like a little fancy pen with that same print that matches my meal plan so super cute it's a little ballpoint pen so anyway that's everything she got me for my birthday so thank you heather i love everything. okay uh next up is my birthday gift from my friend sylvia first thing i'm going to show you is the little um bag she gave me my gift in it has christmas dogs on it love the german shepherd with the wreath but it's so cute and it's by vera bradley it's like really well made too it's like super thick so we could always use reusable bags um but she got me these beautiful alice in wonderland so my friends know i love alice in wonderland journals and these are like the stitched kind these are so beautiful treasure cat and it has some silver foiling on there by flame tree notebooks by the way and it is lined like one one side is lined and the other side is blank so could be cool for like journaling um like creative journaling and then this one we have her meeting the caterpillar with this puka on the mushroom and it just looks like that so beautiful i love them um so she got me that and then she also got me these little like seasonal decor pieces um this cute little frame that has these little hula girls and it like floats you can see it's like being held by like ribbon or like jute jute string it's by hobby lobby it's from the spring shop so she got me this and then she also got me these two which are little pillows but it has like little palm like a palm tree on it it's a little hanging pillow and she did get me two of these and they are also from hobby lobby's spring shop so she thought of like my seasonal decor for summer because i think it's for the month of july i do a like tropical theme and so this is when i'm, I'm gonna put this out in, during july so i'm excited to decorate so anyway so that's what she got me for my birthday so thank you sylvia i loved everything and then the last thing i'm gonna insert a picture right here my friend celeste got me this Erin Condren Hello Kitty Planner Kit Collab Extravaganza in this gorgeous Hello Kitty box. And that is one of those things that I was saying deserves its own video. I'm going to do an unboxing of it. I did open it and kind of glance at it, but I was like, I'm going to put this back because I want to make an, like an unboxing on my channel because it's so cute. It's Hello Kitty and it's planner accessories. Like it's everything so she got me that for my birthday um so i'm excited to show you what's in that box so just make sure that you are subscribed and all that fun stuff um but yeah that is everything guys let me do a little quick overview like i always do of everything here for my birthday a big shout out to my fiance and my friends for getting me all these awesome things i loved everything and i'm so excited to finally use it because again it's been sitting there marinating hanging out waiting for me to film this video and yeah um i loved every single item i'm so excited for that luna purse and for my um alice in wonderland um pop to go on my wall i don't know where but it's gonna go somewhere um and all my daiso finds just like everything I just love so so much um, I will link down below as many items as I possibly can find um, so just check the description and uh, if it's not in there just leave a comment and I will reply to you um, but yeah make sure you're subscribed if you love videos like this and if you want to see that Hello Kitty um, unboxing um, as well as the um, Alice in Wonderland Daiso collection videos make sure you turn on your post notifications so you're notified um, and give this video a big thumbs up it really helps out my channel and um, comment down below what are your thoughts which items were your favorite and what items will you be adding to your wish list I love to know what you have to say um and yeah that's pretty much it guys i do have quite a few like christmas gifts that i got for my friends that i never showed on my channel because <laughs> here's the funny thing um 
we hung out February February 5th because we always do a little Christmas party thing in December but December just like flew by before we knew it was ready January we're like okay we'll do it this week we could never all get on the same schedule it's always so hard so we're like you know what let's just do it in February so we combined our little Christmas party slash my birthday party so I got my Christmas presents you know late better late than never everybody got their Christmas presents late um and then I also got my birthday presents but the Christmas presents I will just be like I guess putting in like a collective haul of like like a random collective haul so stay tuned for that but anyway that is it guys thank you for um spending some time with me stay safe stay kawaii and yeah thank you for watching okay bye